Hello and welcome to episode number 82 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is why obligation is stronger than finding your why. Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trim. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I was at an event, a business event with my partner, Kerry, over the weekend. Aaron Sansoni, he's an absolute brilliant guy. And we we're just over there over the weekend because Kerry wanted to dive into more the entrepreneurial world. She wants to start up her own business. And so this was one of the events that she chose. And I came along for the ride only to be that supportive person, but also because I wanted to learn more. And I think what a great experience it was because within these events, not only do you get to learn more content and have more information, but you actually get to see how they run. So if any of you guys are interested in running events or if you guys are interested in creating a product or service or challenge or whatever it might be, you have to go through the experience yourself in order to understand what you liked and what you didn't like about it. I'm, I'm a true believer in that. So it was a three day event. I went for one day and inside the first day, it was very, very Tony Robbins mindset like and the first day Aaron really just set us up for success he wanted to make sure that our mindset was right one of the biggest things and the biggest key takeaways I got out of it that was different right that I hadn't really connected the dots before was obligation and he talked about something called obligation and why that's stronger than finding your why because a lot of the times especially when I was starting out in the online space the entrepreneurial world or running and opening businesses that all a business is and the way I think of a business is just your ability to problem solve and you get paid so the bigger the problem you solve the more you'll get paid the more urgent the problem you solve the more you'll get paid so for me it was really diving into this world of finding your why like And I read it in books. I listened to it on podcasts. It was everywhere, right? Find your why, find your why, find your why. And for me, a lot of times it was like, God damn, like so many of these people have these big whys to help a billion people across the world. And for me, I'm going to be real. That wasn't my why. Like I could put that down and that was nice, but it was too far away. And I didn't get it for a long time. I didn't get my why. And it wasn't until sitting down with the Tony Robbins and going through it that I could really make that breakthrough. And if you don't have Tony Robbins at your disposal, you're not going to be able to make that back. I found it hard. So one of the things that he said that completely clicked was obligation. Like, who are you obligated to help? Like, screw the why. And we all know that if we make business about us, we're not going to get very far because we'll do more for others than we do for ourselves. To be honest, like I'll do more for Kerry, I'll do more for my family, I'll do more for my clients than I will for myself. Like if I was coaching myself, we don't do a lot for ourselves. Like I said in my other previous podcast, if I did a lot for myself, I'll be sitting home watching X Factor, watching Games of Thrones, watching all this stuff and chilling out because we want to be in a relaxed state. So naturally, all these people with huge passion, huge purpose, they're the one percenters. Naturally, most people don't do a lot for themselves. And so that's because they're thinking about themselves. But when we stop thinking about ourselves and we think outside from us, like who are we obligated to serve? Because a lot of us now, and for me, this is me, right? I want to be relevant with you today because for me, a lot of the times I was thinking about myself. Like I think, well, how can I make more money? How can I have more free time? How can I do X, Y, and Z? And so when I thought about myself, I wasn't very motivated. I wasn't very driven. And this sounds so cliched, but when you take it upon yourself to do more for others, like if I go, I need to pay off my parents' mortgage. They've got a million dollars debt on it and I want to take that upon my shoulders. That's my obligation. I need to look after my partner and give her the stability and give her the freedom and not ever having to stress about money again. I take that upon myself, okay? I then take it upon to go, okay, well, I'm obligated to give my father and mother-in-law freedom and give them the stability of knowing their daughter's looked after. And that's my obligation. I now take it upon myself to be obligated to look after all my clients. That If I have a client, they are successful. Their life is free. They have money. They are having more fun. I'm obligated to do that. And when you start taking on these obligations, it might seem like a burden. Like it might seem like a bag full of stones on your back at first. When I listened to this, I was like, wow, that's big. But then as soon as I got it, when I started thinking about that and I started making that switch, it was like, holy crap, this is awesome. This is the drive I need because ultimately, if I'm obligated to do all those things, I will get what I want. Okay, If I'm obligated to look after my client's life and make them successful because they paid me money, if I'm obligated to look after Carrie 
okay, make her life awesome. If I'm obligated to look after my parents, if I'm obligated to look after my siblings and my family, okay, and write down what I'm going to do, right? Be specific about it, right? If I'm obligated to inspire every single person I meet, that's my obligation. If I make that my obligation, like every single person I meet, I have to inspire them. I have to bring them up. That's now on me to perform better. It's not me going, I want to be a better person because that's about me, right? I'm now obligated to make people around me feel inspired. That's about them. And so naturally that makes me become a better person. But by changing that, by changing the language, by changing who it's about, it can have a massive and profound impact. And so I thought that was very strong. So if you're struggling to find your why, if you're struggling to find, you know, you have those days where you feel motivated, but other days you're just cruising along and things aren't moving, find obligation, Start putting, wearing that backpack and start putting some heavy stones in it because now it's not about you anymore, okay? It's about other people, the people around you. I truly, truly believe this, that if you're going to be successful, I think poor people, they're saying that poor people are the most selfish people in the world, like most poor people who decide, who make that decision to be poor in Western worlds, right? Not talking about Africa, I'm not talking about Asia or the Middle East, I'm talking about people who have the opportunity. Poor people, they're selfish, Why? Because they have a decision and they decide to be a victim, okay? They decide to have this story. And if you're not selfish, right, you'll become rich and you'll be able to help everybody around you. And not rich in money, I mean rich in knowledge, rich in physical health, rich in relationships, rich in financial abundance, right? And so the question I have to ask you today is what is your obligation? Like, who are you obligated to help around you and who are you going to? And that's, and when you feel obligated to do something, that's when you become a leader. That's when you step up because there aren't a lot of leaders in the world. And a leader isn't a president of the United States. A leader is anyone who can bring others up. That's why I'm so passionate about helping leaders grow and spreading their message because there are a lot of people who are living lives that they don't want to live There are a lot of people that are basically just dropped in an ocean and letting the ocean take them wherever they want to go, whereas they're not steering their life. And I think the biggest thing of, of me running the Online Trainers Club is to help you inspire other people around you to grow and live their best life. And you've got knowledge, you've got resources, you've got amazing tools at your disposal that you can grow into and step up to become better. So today, before I start to deviate and get onto a bit of a rant, today's question is what are you obligated or who are you obligated to help around you? Okay, that's beyond you. And what are you going to do for them? What are you going to do for your parents? What are you going to do for your siblings? What are you going to do for your partner? What are you going to do for your clients? What are you going to do for every single person that you meet? When you take on obligation, it's not about you anymore. It's about them. And so you rise up to meet the challenge because if you understand that you'll do more for others than you'll do for yourself, you will win. You will win because you'll get everything you want out of life because you've helped other people around you. That is the one question for today. And the other question I'm asking you is who are you obligated to go and share this podcast episode to, to make sure that you raise up their standard of living and keep yourself accountable, okay? Because like I said, you'll do more for others than you do for yourself. All right, have a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next podcast episode and um, keep an eye out for some of the new episodes that are coming out because... I'm going to go through productivity. I'm going to go through strategies of how to grow your business in 2017. That's a big one because I truly believe that um, the game is changing. But we'll go go through that in uh, the next couple of episodes. All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes. And feel free to leave a review in that way. I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.